So in March this year, I was in Qatar to perform before several heads of state and government at the UN conference on the least developed countries, and this is how that trip went. <laughs> The LDC 5, like they call it, is a week-long conference and this is not the only time I performed. I had about three other performances, but first let's start from the beginning. So I was invited by the UN SDG Action Campaign. Friday 3rd March 2023, headed for a conference on the least developed countries for a performance, actually a couple of performances. We wish me luck guys. I went with Timmy. It was a 6 hour 40 minutes flight and everything was smooth. We left Nigeria at 8 a.m. We got here at 5 p.m. ish. Qatar is two hours ahead of Nigeria. We had people waiting for us at the airport to pick us up so I got to the hotel in no time. I have a membership with EB's hotel so I used it for this trip. Paid for the room, tried to get food. <laughs> And um, yeah, this is what my room looks like. Very petite and cute. Breakfast the next morning. We're on our way to the first day. This is the city view and all that. Here for sound check. The first performance was at the youth forum of the conference. We went to find food because man shall not live by walk alone. Stopped by this place and got the Arabian coffee. Oh my guys. Ha. It's so big down his own. But someone's recommended I try it with this. So I'm gonna try it and see. <coughs> no, 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 no. So <laughs> whose idea was this? No. <laughs> it's so bitter. Let me drink it first. This wasn't funny at all because it like god it was not sweet moving on to actually find the food that we were on our way to find then we went for sound check for the next day because the performance was in the morning and then we headed to a hotel day, over. Day, over. day two i was so cold i decided to wear this onesie inside my clothes it's not because of the sense you got a gold one came in headed to the venue we took the metro it was quicker and we also had a free pass Got to the venue, we were waiting backstage for a performance. You already saw it in the beginning, so I'm not gonna bother you with that anymore. Got to watch some dancers from Tanzania, beautiful. Got food, and then we left. Took a long nap, then went out later for some ice cream and burger. This was dinner for me. Then the next morning, this is my outfit for today. Got breakfast, then started heading to the venue. This was sound check, all good. I was also on the panel for that day, and then this was my performance. Yeah, this was the panel session I was part of. And after that, we headed back to our hotel, and then we went out later at night. Went with Brittany and Mohammed. Had dinner at the Sukwa Cave, even had the tea time, really nice. And then we got lost looking for our metro station, it took us 45 minutes. <sighs> so this is called a tram, an electric bus that travels on tracks like trains. Final day. Out here in Qatar and we're going to have our final performance at 5pm. Our flight is later tonight at 12ish am, so it's going to be a rush. We're gonna make sure that we give it our very best. See you soon, Nigeria. On our way to the venue, we stopped at the market, Shuk Wakif. They told us the market opens at 4 p.m. So we couldn't really get much. So we just went, I did an interview. I was waiting for my performance here and you know, 
Yeah, thank you, Missy, Missy. Thank you so much. So I came across the stand by the Afghan Dreamers, a group of women, ladies from Afghanistan. I work in STEM fields, that's science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And it was so beautiful what they did. And then I was on my way. This was me at the airport waiting to board. Wait for it. Tell me I'm in Nigeria without telling me I'm in Nigeria. Yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> just relieving memories from the conference i am so glad that i was part of this and i will continue to flip the script and turn negativity into positivity thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed this bye for now